All right, let's go back to your phone calls. I had a good friend in New York City. Does it make anybody mad that last Wednesday, last Thursday, they had the little girl run up to the Pope? Kit Daniels wrote a story about it saying it's obviously staged, showed the photos. It had close to 20,000 shares in a couple hours. That's super viral. Our average story gets three or 4,000 shares. Still big. And they just killed it. They just killed the story. Brought it down to zero shares. You couldn't share it. And then Zuckerberg Saturday, on the dais up there with Merkel, said, we're going to censor, we're going to control, we're going to call on Mike. We're going to stop any criticism of the, quote, migrants. Imagine assaulting Europe with millions of people, a bunch of them ISIS, and then saying, we're going to censor anybody that tries to expose that. That is hardcore totalitarianism. That is hardcore. While they act like they're not censoring. Oh, we don't censor. And I'm not even singling out Facebook here. A lot of these platforms do this. And people should really be freaked out. A lot of liberals are on a power trip. You bet we're going to shut your speech down now. It's our time to take over. Well, that's not liberal. The precedent's being set with liberal causes because that's the agenda being used to domesticate the public. But down the road, you're going to be censored too. Splash some cold water on your face if you're a so-called liberal and ask yourself, is this really who you are? Let's go ahead and go to Aaron in Montana. Aaron, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Go ahead. Hey, how's it going, Alex? Good. Good. Hey, you know, I was just thinking about this. You know, in the beginning of Putin, when he was first running his re-election campaign, he's running around with his shirt off, horseback in, uh, shooting guns up, you know, just completely the man's man. Everybody, you know, I'm a man, right? Yeah, that's clearly a ploy, but they're, but they're promoting yeah. masculinity, being in charge and having strong families. The globalists here promote an effeminate Obama on purpose. So, so what Putin's doing, I, I, I think it's healthy. To have a John Wayne style president. But what I'm getting at is they're doing it on purpose because Obama, what does he do? He appoints a civilian gay person to head the second, uh, like the Defense Department now, and he's completely demasculinating yeah, the military. And exactly. Like, it's, it's like it's a design, it's completely. Um, it's a complete program of ending the family as we know it and making Americans the most broke back, servile. A knock need weirdos you can imagine. Yeah, I yeah. That's yep. My other point, uh, if I could make, would mm -hmm. be we have a a local issue in Montana with a gun control. Mayor Michael Bloomberg's initiative. Oh boy! Is now taking is now taking effect in Missoula, Montana. They're implementing a firearm sale ordinance. That basically says no more person-to-person -person sales without a federal background check. Over so 200 he, cities, he even in conservative areas like Montana, are now bought and paid for by Bloomberg. Thank you so much. Great call, sir. Great point uh, on the Putin situation. Absolutely. The Russians know they're dying. They know they're collapsing. They're desperately hoping a strong man can save them. Okay, folks, we are live. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to be uh, going back to your phone calls and getting into a ton of really important news. Uh, lawmakers say U.S. plan to hand the Internet over to the United Nations might be unconstitutional. Gee, you think so when the United States built it and designed it with DARPA? This is how they want to censor it. You have the U.N. censoring as well. Really huge news. Matt, Jim, Sebastian, Tim, Eva. We're going to get to all of you coming up with open phones throughout the end of this hour, right into the third hour as well. So all of that is coming up. We're going to play some of Obama's speech, uh, of course, that was a bunch of propaganda uh, at the United Nations yesterday. But first, I wanted to play a piece from a few months ago where Dr. Group and I and others break down how amazing Liver Shield is, one of the newest products from InfoWarsLife.com. And this product is now back in stock. It's been sold out for a long time. Uh, it's very, very popular. It's now back in stock at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 
253-3139. And here is uh, the piece where we break down how amazing uh, this product is in conjunction with a larger uh, liver cleanse. Here it is. And when you eat all these toxins, if you ate McDonald's nuggets 20 years ago that had plasticizers in them, your gallbladder and your liver doesn't know what to do. So the liver basically excretes that into the gallbladder and it holds it. Just Google gallbladder stones and it's disgusting, but you need to look at it. And when you finally get filled up with these, it burst or it gets infected and they've got to remove it. And we'll scroll through these. There's even grosser ones. Like, let's scroll down. On average, they're green or black. If they're black, they're really old and toxic. They're generally green. And this stuff's meant to be passed out of you, but we eat such artificial food that it doesn't. These are way beyond kidney stones, you name it. You also have liver stones. And medical doctors won't tell you on average, hey, flush your liver. They'll just say, hey, your liver's sick. It's going to get progressively worse. We're going to get you on a list for a liver transplant. It is unbelievable. We're showing these disgusting images. So about a year and a half ago, Anthony Gucciardi just said, man, I just did a, a Dr. Grip's liver cleanse, the one he recommends. And he's developing this proprietary stuff. He's testing on himself right now. You really ought to do it. The results are dramatic after six days. And I'm like, no way, no way I'm doing it. I don't believe that there's giant black or green balls in my gallbladder. I mean, this is how ignorant I am. And he's like, look at it online. I'm not looking at it online. because Stuff like that grosses me out. I don't want to go there. <sighs> well, finally, about six months ago, they convinced me to do it. I personally think everybody should go through a liver cleansing if you haven't done one and then take the, for example, the liver shield can be taken two different ways. It could be taken as a liver support formula where you just take a couple dropper fulls, but that's not going to purge the liver and remove all that stuff from it. In order to do that, you have to do the six day. Well, I'm going to walk cleanse. through how the liver works, the different types of cleanses with you and give you the floor. But I'm asking a lot of selfish questions here up front. Um, how does the apple cider vinegar organic with the oxy powder and with the liver tracks over the six day cleanse, how does it then when you take the olive oil at the end, lay on your side for an hour as you go to sleep, why does it then have the, the gallbladder release? Well, this is something that I, uh, that is a very controversial issue, and, but results speak for themselves. I mean, hundreds of thousands of people have done this, and, and it dates back even a thousand years drinking oils to cleanse and purge the liver. Actually, the Greeks and the over in India with Ayurvedic medicine have done it the same way. But how it works is what you should do, and this is what our proprietary research led us to do back starting in the early uh, 90s when we were looking at the best ways to cleanse the liver was to develop an herbal formula that contains herbs that will help soften or break down these globules or these stones in the liver and the gallbladder. And that's really what the first five days is for. That's where you mix the bottle of liver shield. You pour the whole bottle in a gallon of distilled water and then you drink four eight ounce glasses a day of that four or five days at the same time though okay folks that's just part of the informational video that is on infowarslife.com on the liver shield liver cleanse page and he walks through how you do it and generally what response the public sees you can read the reviews from third-party individuals uh, for yourself but overall it has a 4.8 rating unheard of by Power Reviews, one of the largest and most respected third-party review sites out there. There are also other third-party review sites. Do your own research of the entire InfoWarsLife.com product chart and see why we call these amazing game changers. But I didn't even believe this two years ago when they wanted to develop it and wanted me to sell it and thought it was a great idea. I finally did it, and I've talked about what happened. It's embarrassing. Uh, but it's real nevertheless. Now, Leanne McAdoo's friend has done it. Leanne hasn't done it yet. She corrected me earlier. She's doing it next week. But her friend is uh, a, a actress in some pretty big movies and also uh, been a fitness model. 
and she uh, had gained some weight and stuff and wanted to try it out. She wasn't paid to do it. It was Leanne and her's idea talking about it because they were getting ready to do these cleanses together, and her friend did it. Um, so Leanne's about to do it next week. Uh, Anthony Gucciardi and Leanne McAdoo join us here. And, 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 of course, you're not just getting an amazing product. You're also funding the operation when we talk about this. But getting our bodies healthy is such a big part of the fight against the globalist. Uh, Leanne McAdoo, uh, Anthony Gucciardi, we've only got a little bit of time, five, six minutes apiece in this segment. I'm going to come back and go to calls. But I appreciate you coming on today to talk about this because uh, Liver Shield is finally back in, one of our best sellers. We just get a large shipment of it. It's concentrated herbs that, I guess prepare and open up the liver to be detoxed. But I'm also told you can take this by itself. And also it reportedly, uh, we believe, has some benefits. So, Anthony, let's start with you and then Leanne McAdoo. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to go through the full spectrum liver cleanse, which in involves, you know, the apple cider vinegar, the water, the Epsom salt, all that kind of stuff. The six-day regimen. Right. It's just... still pretty easy, though. Mm -hmm. Right. But I put this every single day in my protein shake or my daily water, and I take it every single day to support the natural detoxification of the liver anyway. You don't have to do the full cleanse. But that said, if you do the full cleanse, as you'll see from the hundreds of reviews on InfoWarsLife.com, some really crazy things happen. And we don't have to go into full detail. You know, we're not claiming to know what it is coming out of us, but we're talking about green balls, black balls, sometimes golf ball sized balls that come out of you when you do the full. Sometimes ball. Martians. Sometimes <laughs> Martians. Big sarcastic. That's yeah. a joke. Sometimes FDA. Hillary Clinton comes out and uh, the laughing pen comes out. But no, it is pretty wild stuff. Yeah, sometimes you, you crap Hillary Clinton pens. It's actually been proven, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I hope not. My worst nightmare. Sorry, I, I, it's a family show. I apologize. But if you think about it, right, even having an image of Hillary Clinton is not family friendly. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. It's obscene. Absolutely. Is there an FCC fine for showing a picture of Hillary Clinton on broadcast TV? Definitely. It's pretty. Um, Can't show a horse's rear end. It's a graphic image, actually. <laughs> Could be uh, frightening the children. But you think about every Viewer single day. Viewer discretion is advised. Sorry. It's all right. Every single day, how much we expose ourselves to. Mm. From everyone drinking alcohol to the crap in the food, the chemicals, everything we possibly can imagine that we eat on a daily basis, all of it goes through the liver. And the liver is just being hit with so many toxic compounds on a daily basis that there's no surprise. There's no, no, the liver's being hit by migrants. If you drink a bottle of Jack Daniels, it's a migrant. It's true. It's it has actually, a right uh, to be there eating it the It has liver. a right to destroy your liver. <laughs> and I think it's bad if you take liver shield, so don't take it. Don't go to Enforce Liver, liver Shield is pure crud. These aren't well-known ancient herbs concentrated, uh, known to detoxify. It's not good. It doesn't help you. The government's good. Do whatever the government says. Exactly. I agree, so I'm not even going to keep talking about it then. Just don't buy it. Don't. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, the great part is people did try it. We've opened the phones up before, and it's crazy what folks say comes out. Mm -hmm. It is crazy, and if, if you look up liver... Obviously, we're not doctors, but we can get Dr. Group and others to come on and talk about it. But when we show, you know, search Google gallstones or liver stones, it's admitted that the things coming out of us look like what they're saying online at medical sites is happening. I just can't believe this is in me. I didn't believe it when you first told me about it. Mm -hmm. Right. And we're not saying we're we're not telling you what it is coming out of you. We know it's messed up. I've look, I've I know people that have done independent research on what's coming out of them. And we can't talk about it on air because it's studies and things, stuff like that. But I've I've had people confirm it to me. Well, but do your own research. Do your own research is the bottom line. You know, the, the, all we have to think about is logically what we're exposing to ourselves to it on a daily basis and realize, well, yeah, our liver is definitely flooded with a bunch of junk. It's no, I mean, it's take no McDonald's, question. admit they have plasticizers in all their fried foods, basically plastic. Your body's got to do something with that. And here's a study from today. Chemical exposure linked to rising diabetes, obesity risk, as if it's a, right. you know, who knew? Well, it is the chemical exposure. Your body gets hit with a number of toxic compounds every single day to the point where it can't function at its optimum levels anymore. And that's why we do things like natural detoxification. It is a real powerful thing. Just like this story. Next, you're going to tell me exercise is good and drinking lots of purified water is good. You're such a racist. I know, it's bad. <laughs> I, I, you're right. I, I think we should let the migrants, the toxicity in our body is really just a migrant form. We should let the migrants inhabit our bodies like squatters. When Hitler took uh, cyanide, it wasn't poison. It was a migrant. Yeah. And then he flopped around and foamed at the mouth and died. I think there's nothing wrong with that. What, what about what happened when your friend took the uh, anti-migration pill? <laughs> 
Well, I made her send me pictures. I was like, I know those girls. I don't know. Oh, I didn't know this. I might uh, be sick and twisted, but I wanted to see. She's a lovely lady. I don't want to picture that in the, in the well, photos. Well, it wasn't together. that. <laughs> uh, it wasn't that. Now, but it, but it was 